Appleton will take a look at whether having an armored police vehicle costs too much to operate. Kelly Schlicht has this Fox 11 follow-up. City Council members voted 10 to 2 to study whether armored vehicles are worth the expense. This is saying let's make sure that we're doing due diligence in examining how this was acquired and why it was acquired and making sure it really is a need for our community. But some on the council feel the extra scrutiny is unnecessary. It seemed like an un unnecessary uh effort on our part to be able to just re review this one single piece of equipment to see what the um, um, finances are involved, the expenses involved. We don't do that with any of our other pieces of equipment. So I the city shares the MRAP vehicle with Outagamey County. The county received it from the federal government because the vehicle had been decommissioned. Councilman Stick says he feels police should have access to them. I don't foresee this thing being used all the time, I, but I see this being used in situations that are very dangerous and we need to protect our officers. But Councilwoman Dalton says the city should consider giving the vehicle back. I believe that it's still in the best interest of the city and as custodian of a vehicle of this nature to still understand what it would look like to return this vehicle and, and take a closer look at the contract that we do have with the federal government on the, the 1033 program. The study on whether MRAPs cost too much to operate will be done in the next 45 days. In Appleton, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News.